Today, I'm going to explain what to do when you're building an application using Pythagora. And if you run into any issues or if there's a bug or if there's some errors being thrown. First, over here on the right hand side and this Pythagora sidebar, you can click the icon that says that there's an issue. And so click that icon and then next Pythagora will likely ask you to paste in the logs from the back end of your application. Now, you might be running your application locally via the command line or via the terminal. And so you can just copy paste all the terminal output, including any error messages that are being thrown, if there are any, and just copy paste all those logs, whatever the backend is showing here into this window, and then click the arrow icon to send those logs to Pythagora. An alternative, if you're not running the app locally, is you can just click start app, and that will actually run your application, run the backend of your application. And then you'll see here, you'll see that terminal output right there within Pythagora when it's running the application for you after clicking that start app button. So next, when you're running the application with the start app button, you can actually click this copy server logs button and that'll copy paste everything that's up here. So you don't have to do that yourself. And then all you have to do is click this arrow and that will send the logs to Pythagora so it understands what the command line output is with your application from the back end. So now that I've sent that, it's going to ask me about the front end. And now that my application's running, I can actually click oh, go over to my application. You can see here I have an example application. And all I have to do is load up, all I have to do is load up the the dev console over here because I'm using Chrome and it's showing some different errors are being thrown. So let's make sure this application is running because it stopped running. And then here you can see the error messages after I cleared out the console and restarted the application. So these are the error messages that are being thrown here in Chrome in the dev console. And so all you have to do is just copy, copy this output that's here and then paste it into this section when it's asking for the front end logs and then click continue and or click this icon and it'll send it. And then last, Pythagoras will ask you, do you wanna add anything else to help Pythagora solve this bug? And in this section, you can just add in any additional context around what's supposed to be happening, but what is actually happening instead, or any other context that you can provide Pythagora relating to this issue. Feel free to add it into this, into this location and then click that send icon over here and that'll send all that additional context to Pythagoras so it can help figure out what the issue is and then debug what's causing those error messages to be thrown. If you don't have any additional context, for whatever reason, feel free, you can just go here and click the continue button and then it'll just move on to the next step and the task and start debugging the issue. Anyway, if you have any additional questions on how to use Pythagora or if you have any feedback for us, feel free to head over to our Discord. We read it and check it regularly. So feel free to, like I said, send over any feedback or any bug requests or anything else that you have, and we'll be happy to answer all your questions. Anyway, happy coding, everyone.